And well after claims of election fraud by both parties, the State Department has approved hundreds of international election observers to monitor polling places on Election Day. One America's Trey Yingst has that story from Washington. After alleged hacking by foreign governments and allegations of voter fraud, hundreds of international observers are headed to the United States on Election Day. The election monitors are coming from the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. The group has been monitoring U.S. voting since 2002, but appears to be more concerned about this particular presidential election. While most states have agreed to let international observers monitor polling places, 13 states have implemented a ban on outside observers. German observer Jürgen Klemke said in a statement, quote, the U.S. electoral process still needs to catch up and adapt to international standards. This year we actually have more international observers are scheduled to come into the country than in past years. It's uh, uh, on, on the level of 500 as opposed to 2012 when it was 44. Fred Lucas is the author of a book called Tainted by Suspicion. He says that concern about voter fraud is shared by both parties. Donald Trump is saying it's a rigged election, there might be voter fraud. Uh, Hillary Clinton has even raised the specter of Russian hacking into the voting systems, uh, of course, with her WikiLeaks issues. Election officials hope the increased number of observers will help to deter voter fraud and ensure a fair election. From Washington, Trey Yinkst, One American News.